hey it's Andre. I want to start this video by starting an open letter which I'll write in this notepad to Apple starting with dear Apple. I want to discuss my thoughts about the HomePod mini and the issues that are currently limiting me from actually pressing that purchase button on the Apple website instead of continuously adding and removing it from my shopping basket and a trick that I think Apple are currently missing. I've got my M1 Mac Mini that I think is awesome and I use it for almost everything on the channel. As we know the speakers on the Mac Mini are not the best when it comes to listening and enjoying music and editing and reviewing the audio and videos like I do. I'm currently confined to wearing headphones or even my AirPods at time for hours on end, but even then it can become uncomfortable to wear after long periods of time, so having something to plug in would be better. And yes, before you say it, I know I could get more suitable and cheaper speakers that would certainly do the job I need, but being this deep in the ecosystem, I want something that keeps to that aesthetic. Currently the HomePod mini is tailored towards iPhone and iPad users by looking at its compatibility list. Even though there are AirPlay devices like the Mac mini that can be connected after the HomePod mini is initially set up with an iPhone or iPad. Let's have a look at the summary of the HomePod mini. Amazing room filling 360 degree sound from that single full range driver. Siri and smart home integration and other features, but why just confine those best features and integrations with the iPhone and iPad while leaving other Apple devices that have to connect to the HomePod via AirPlay with a less than full experience when Apple are notorious for seamless integration between all of their devices. This leads me on to my first wish for Apple, adding a 3.5mm audio in out port. A simple port located next to the power supply lead would mean direct connection to the Mac Mini, or in fact any device with a 3.5mm audio port of its own. My major issue with the HomePod Mini that I see featured on many review videos about this is that when the HomePod is connected to the Mac Mini via AirPlay, there is that inevitable second or so delay that you get with Bluetooth connections, which if you're editing a video or watching a film, then it obviously isn't good. And what's that's the main thing that's putting me off this purchase as I'd mainly be using this with my Mac Mini. I understand that plugging the Mac Mini in would limit the HomePod Mini's other features, but if there's an option of a wired and wireless solution that can be used interchangeably if and when needed, it would make the HomePod Mini more desirable to me, at least. If you would agree, disagree with me, or have your own suggestions, just let me know in the comments below. My other issue is portability. Having a permanent non-detachable USB-C lead exiting the HomePod Mini reduces its ability to be taken just anywhere. All of the marketing shots on this would lead you to believe that it's a rechargeable product, but that's just not the case. A port where the existing line comes out next to the non-existent 3.5 millimeter UX line would allow you to take it anywhere. That portable iPhone speaker, imagine a room filling sound, an intelligent assistant, control your smartphone, work seamlessly with an iPhone, private and secure, and finally portable. This would open the marketplace for the HomePod mini. Don't get me wrong, I like what Apple have done with the HomePod mini, releasing it in four new colours, promoting itself in the lifestyle marketplace similar to what they did with a 24 inch iMac and the latest iPad Air, and at the price it's currently at, which is £89 in the UK, places itself firmly within a bracket that allows it to compete with Amazon and Google. But for me personally, I need those extra things before buying a HomePod mini. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, yes, I can buy other speaker systems, like the Echo Dot, for example, which actually has a line in port, is cheaper, and may be able to do a better job for the two issues I've raised, but it's just not an Apple product. I know that the Mac Mini is meant to be this customizable desktop where you can pick your own monitor, speakers, keyboard and mouse, but imagine if along with the Mac Mini, Apple offered a premium and cost friendly bundle which included the Magic Keyboard, Trackpad Mouse, display similar to the Pro Display XDR, and finally the HomePod Mini or Minis housed with the S5 chip that seamlessly worked together with the onboard computational audio to create that immersive sound quality that complement the bundle perfectly. Maybe that's to come, maybe Apple will bring the bigger HomePod back. The Mini can't be Mini forever if there's nothing bigger than it coming. Hopefully that's sooner rather than later. That's just a few things to add to my wish list for the HomePod Mini. Kind regards, Andre. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more videos like this in the future just let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time i release a new video that's all for me today i'll see you on the next one bye